Hello guys, in this video we will learn about the pool design pattern in Magento 2. We use the pool design pattern is to break down the big area of code with a lot of uh, information about logic or database collection or whatever. So we break it down into different classes and then that we pool them into one class so we can loop through them to do some conditions on them so let's try this on a new module i've created here so this is the module i created i called it pool pattern and it has a controller view and view model as usual now the functionality of this is I put a code so this is the controller pool index index and the code is parameter and the value is Allah or whatever you call it so ABC one two three and now I display the code here so looking at the code we are doing it from the pool PHTML file and then I just get model get code and I pass in the request so the request will have the parameter sorry this is the view model I pass the request and then I get param from the request and then I return the code and it will be displayed in the template and as you can see here is in here so basically it's just a code uh, of key value pair as in the uh, URL parameters now if I put anything here like one two three four it will display it to me so what I'm going to do is to put some logic around this so what I'm going to do here is I put code equals code and now first of all I want to know whether this code is going to be empty or not so I will check if string code equals empty string then in fact I will just string it here so I'm not get, getting any null and now I'll do it here so if it's empty I will throw an exception throw a new invalid argument exception and I will say the message will say code cannot be empty so it's that simple now I want also to check the length of the code so if strlen code greater than 10 so the maximum will be 10 if it is greater than 10 then throw new invalid argument exception code must not be more than 10 characters now we have done this now I will check if the code has any special characters then I will throw an error so I will say if uh, C type alnum code so if it is not alphanumeric then throw an error so I'll just copy this copy paste here and then I say code must contain must only contain alphanumeric characters so these are the base logics of these now after that I will return the code if the conditions all these conditions pass then I will return the code if I run here so this pass is alphanumeric if I put ABC 1 2 3 I will pass because it's alphanumeric if I put nothing here I will get an error code cannot be empty if I put something like ABC dash 1 2 3 I will get code must only contain alphanumeric characters if I put something like ABC 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this will be more than 10 characters and then code must not be more than 10 characters so these are the basic logics of these but you can see this is like a lot of if statements in here and then you want to abstract them away and then make the code a lot uh, cleaner so we can achieve this by using the pool design pattern the pool design pattern is we will abstract each if statement into its own validation class and then it will be easier for us in terms of testing or in terms of managing the code so let's try this and see how we can make this a lot cleaner first of all I will create a model directory so model and then I will create an interface I'll name it code validation interface and this basically namespace 
training so this basically just validate the code so public function validate string code and it will return void it doesn't return anything so basically this the class will validate the code oh this is the interface now I will create a new class here I will make it code not empty validation and this code non, um, not empty validation will validate against the code being empty or not namespace training pull pattern and then model class code non empty implements code validation interface and this will have the method validate and now to validate this I will go to the view model the example and I put I copy this and I put it in the class here so this is the class now I'll make everything easier and understandable bit by bit now we have this if the code is empty then throw the validation that's it that's all I need now I will have another class we will name it as code length validation code length validation Elements code validation interface and this time this class will take the validate from code is not greater than z than 10 so we copy it and then we paste it here so we abstracted this if statement now we will need the last class for validation which is the alphanumeric so alpha code whole num validation same thing this will also validate pattern model class code implements code validation interface and this time we will go to the last if statement copy it and paste it in here so we are putting the now you can see every statement every if statement will go to its own class now I don't need these anymore I remove them now what I need is the apply the pool p design pattern so what I'm going to do is I will create a class it's called code validation code pool validation or code validation pool this will declare type namespace training pool pattern model class code validation pool this has nothing to implement and now I will need a construct in the construct I will have array of validations and I will have this and now these will be code validation interface now if I put here so this will gives us the notation for the autocomplete now this class will also have the method validate and accepts the string code and will return void as well so in this we will loop through those validations in a for loop for each validations as validation and the IDE will know the validation is of type code validation so what we're going to do is validation validate code now we need to apply this through the DI XML file what I'm going to do is I'll go here and create DI file XML file and then m to di I will have the type the type is the pool class I will just copy it and paste it in here and then I'll have arguments and the arguments I have validations as an array because we have it as an array and then we will have the items the first item I will need it as code not empty validation and will be object and I'll copy the code not empty validation here and then I'll paste it in here we will do the same for the other two so the code length validation code length validation and we will go to the code length validation copy it and paste it in here the last class the last validation class is the code unknown validation and this will be this class so we just copy it as well and paste it here so we have those classes every class contains the if statement we have abstracted from the view model and they are injected into the validation the code validation pool 
and this pool will loop through all those classes and run the validate method on them now if we use this class and call the validate method against the code it will run all these classes which is all those if statements now what we, what we need to do here is to inject the validation pool code validation pool code validation pool then initialize it once we initialize it then what we need here before we return it we validate this code so we validate this code and now will once we call this method this method will loop through all those classes and run it the validations against it now you can see we replaced it by one line but we created a bunch of classes but those classes if you come to test them it's only one if statement there is no more if statements in one place it's just one if statement you can test each class separately which means you test each if statement separately and you don't have to test everything in one place so this is one of the benefits that how the pool design pattern is used and how to simplify your code now if we flush cache php fbn imagine to cache flush config because we use the di compile the di configuration file and then block HTML and I think a full page as well I want to flush now if we refresh so we are having an error saying training pool pattern it should be pool so if I if I go to the model then it's pool here which one is it the code length should be pool sorry about that and it's also maybe in here as well yeah now i need to flush config because we made changes now we refresh now it's running the validation against this code so code must not be more than 10 characters however if i go abc123 it will give me the code as you can see here but if i put like a dash in there you will get the code must not must contain alphanumeric characters only if i make it more than one two three one two three so it's more than 10 characters and then if it is empty it will give me code not, cannot be empty and if i go back to one abc one two three it will return it as is so you can see how we done this we have a three if a statements used to be here in the get code to validate the code and then we abstract them into separate classes as validations we created the validation uh, code validation interface and those classes inherit from and then over each class will validate with one if a statement and then the pool class will run through them by iterating in the, for each loop and run the validate for each class and this pool is being used in the view model and the view model will validate against all all cases all conditions once it's passed it will return the code if it doesn't then it will fail at this line i hope this is useful if you like the video please like and subscribe and i'll see you in next video